name is Maria de Souza. I am the founder of Posture Queen. This is a place for you to learn all things good posture and movement for a life without pain. Today I'm coming to you, to you with another lesson of the series Feldenkrais Heals One Lesson at the Time. And this time the lesson is going to be sitting on a chair. So anyone that cannot get on the floor can do this lesson. The last time I did this lesson with my one-to-one -one client, his reaction at the end was, I've never felt my toes on the floor before and I'm walking with a springness in my feet. So will this be your reaction as well at the end of the lesson? I don't know, maybe yes, maybe not. Um, see what it does for you. So let's start. Make sure that your chair doesn't have, that is flat, not too soft, and it doesn't um, sink in in the middle too much. It can be a little bit soft like this one. You want something that is pretty much flat. And you don't make sure that the chair doesn't have anything on the side, like a handle or anything, that there's nothing there to um, be in the way. So bring yourself forwards on the chair and separate your legs hip distance apart, more or less. You might need a little bit more, just see what's comfortable for you and have the feet on the floor and make sure that you either do it without socks or with socks that are large enough to allow your feet to spread and to express itself and from here just feel your feet on the ground and just notice what parts of the sole of the feet touch the ground is that or in other words where do you feel the pressure on your feet is it more on your heels more on the balls of the foot more on one side on the sides also how is the weight on your feet is it more in one foot than the other just notice these things for yourself i'm going to give you some time to connect to your feet and notice these things. Don't adjust anything, just see what's there for you. And keep mental notes, because at the end we'll come back and see if anything feels different for you. And from here bring your awareness to your seat bones so if you don't know where your seat bones are don't worry too much about a lot of people don't I have a video called meet your best friends and it talks about the seat bones so if you don't know about your seat bones please go and watch that video first which is a, a very short video and then come back to um, to this lesson And as you feel your seat bones, notice um, where's the weight of your torso. Is it more in one seat bone than the other? And are you comfortable sitting on your seat bones? Or not so much? And if it, isn't com if it isn't comfortable, just notice where the discomfort is. Is it in your spine, in your pelvis, in your neck? Just notice. Again, don't fix anything, don't try to correct anything, just feel what's there for you today. And notice how your breath is as well. Can you breathe easily or not so?
and now reach one arm in front of you as if he wants to grab something from a shelf or from a cupboard. And notice how much movement or connection do you feel from your hand to your pelvis. Do that a couple of times. Bring the arm down and go there again. Notice how much of your pelvis moves. Don't correct anything, just notice what's there. And then do the same thing with the other hand. Notice if you feel a connection from the hand all the way down to your pelvis. Maybe you do, maybe you not. It doesn't matter at this point. What matters is that you pay attention and you notice what's there. Okay, and let that go. And from here we're going to start the lesson. So come to sit outside your chair with one sit bone. So bring one sit bone outside the chair. And I, as I bring my right, in, this, in my case, my right sit bone outside of the chair, I can feel that this foot is not grounded anymore. So you want the feet grounded. So this foot is grounded, but this one isn't because the chair is a little bit high. So what you need is fold a blanket or have a yoga block and so that you can feel your foot grounded. And the same thing with the other foot. If the foot is not grounded, please find something to ground the um, feet on the floor. And from here, have your other hand on the chair, rest it wherever. Try not to lean, but just rest it. Keep upright position and just rest that hand. And the other hand can rest on your thigh. And from here, what you're going to do, you're going to bring your knee forward so that it goes over your toes and back to the middle where you started. And do that a few times. And the knee might come over the um, toes or they might not. Maybe there is not much movement in your hip doing this. It doesn't matter. Just do what feels right for you and comfortable. Only move the knee, move the knee forwards and only go as far as it is possible. It doesn't matter how, how far it goes really. And do that a few times. Make sure that you're not putting any weight on this hand and it just rests there. And do that a few times. Move the knee forward. Make sure that that feet is grounded at all times. And you can close your eyes to feel that movement in your hip joint. Notice how that feels, where else you can feel the movement in your torso. How does it feel in your lower back, in your spine? How much of your head is moving? Just notice these things, so stay really present in yourself. Breathing in and out. And do it slowly, the slower you go, the more you can notice. And if you get tired doing these, always come back and rest the way I'm going to show you. So if you can't stay there for as long as I am, then you don't have to. You can rest whenever um, you need to and then come back. So the knee moves forwards and back to where you started. Okay, and then you're going to have a rest by sitting back on your seat. So I don't need this anymore because my feet is grounded when both of my seat bones are on the chair. And just stay here for a moment. Just notice that side of yourself. Notice your breath. Notice your seat bones, the differences. So every time we rest, we come back and sit on a chair. But as I said before, if you need 
to come back earlier, please do. And let's go back there. So bring the sit bone outside, the side of the pelvis, outside the chair. Rest your hand on the seat. And now you're going to take the knee backwards. And again, as far as it goes comfortably and back to where you started. And we're going to do this a few times. You can notice, can you go more further back than you went forward? Or is it easier to go backwards than it was to go forward? Just notice the differences. Back and then center. And again, notice what parts of yourself are moving. Are you stopping yourself from moving somewhere in your torso? Just notice if you are um, holding tension somewhere. If you do, let it go. Allow the rest of the torso to participate as much as it wants. I can feel that my hip is happier to go backwards than it was to go forwards. But you might feel a different thing. Okay, and then bring these to a close and come back to rest on the chair. Sit forward again. And just stay here for a moment, feeling yourself. Notice what feels different in that side of yourself. Compare both sides. And if you need um, longer break, breaks, you can always do that. You can stop this video and then go back when you're ready. So now come back there again. And this time we're going to take the pelvis up. So as you take um, the pelvis or the hip joint up, the, this side of yourself shortens, so the shoulder comes closer to the hip joint as you bring it up. And this is one part of this exercise or lesson that some people find it very difficult. So see what goes and um, how it is for you. So you want to shorten just the contrary that you did before. So when we're taking the pelvis down, this side of yourself lengthens and now is the opposite. As you take the pelvis up, this side shortens so that the shoulder comes closer to the hip joint. And you come back to the center where you started. And again, do that a few times. Your head as well tilts towards that shoulder. But remember that you are concentrating or starting the movement from the pelvis and you allow the torso, the rest of yourself, to go with it. So whether there is a lot or not so much movement in your torso, don't worry about it, just notice how much movement there is.
Remember not, remember not to lean on that hand so much, but keep yourself upright. Breathing in and out. And I give you some space, some silent space for you to feel and sense. Because if I keep talking, then that interrupts your thought process. And um, there's not much for you to think about here, but to sense. Okay, and then coming back to the center, to your chair, and have a rest. Just sense that part of yourself that you're moving. And you can rest for as long as um, you want, but we're going to carry on here. So bring yourself to the side once again. Ground both feet. And this time we're going to revisit all these places where we have been already. So we went forwards with the knee and then back and then down and then up. And carry on doing that forward, back, down and up and do it slowly so that you don't lose the coordination. So forward, back, up and down. And you can do up and down a few times. And then back and forth a few times. Okay, and then come to rest. <coughs> And then go back there. And now we're going to take the pelvis around in a circle. So imagine that there's a wheel on the side of your pelvis here and you're taking the pelvis around the wheel. Keep both feet grounded, the, the heels are grounded. If you feel that they are lifting, then as I said before, you need some support under your feet. And just take the pelvis around in a circle, slow. And notice how that movement feels for you. Notice how much of your torso is getting involved, how much of your spine, your ribs, your head. And just notice, how, also notice how that circle feels for you, is it? A nice round circle or is it more oval or a certain parts is more a straight line notice for yourself how it feels for you what is your breath doing Okay, and then reverse the movement and go the other way around. Notice how it feels different.
Okay, and then come to rest on the chair once again. Sit at the front of the chair. And this is all I wanted to do on that side. So sense yourself here. Just notice how that feel, all that side of yourself feels, that side that you were working on. Notice the feet. How much contact of the of that um, how much contact of the foot makes on the floor. If you go back to the very beginning, how different that foot feels on the floor now. And then go to your sit bones and just, and again, notice that sit bone. The one that, that side you were working on. How does it feel? Does it feel more grounded, more in touch with the chair? Okay, now you're going to stand, and as I'm going to stand, you're probably going to lose my head. Um, now, and now we're going to stand, and when you find yourself on your feet, stay there for a moment. So stay here for a moment and just notice the difference between one side and the other. Which side feels more grounded? Which foot feels more in contact with the floor? Which side feels more alive? And now go for a walk. Just to feel the differences between one side and the other. Just notice how they fit, contact the floor. What's the differences there? What are the differences? There's one foot, one foot feels more grounded, more in contact with the floor than the other. That, that side of yourself feels more fluid. Okay, and then come back to sitting. And now we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So bring the other side of yourself out of the chair. Keep one seat bone on the chair and the other, the other one out. Make sure that your feet is grounded and rest that hand on the chair, but don't lean onto it, you want to be upright. And now move the knee forward and back to where you started and do that a few times. Just notice how this side feels different. And on this side, because you've been through all um, through all the sequence on the other side, I'm not going to, going to make so many breaks. But if you need a break, please do take a break. But for the sake of keeping this video not so long, I'm going to move. I'm going to have less breaks. I'm going to try to not not to move quicker but less breaks. Okay, and then bring the knee back so that you go all the way back as far as it goes comfortably and back to the center. I might give you space, silence, space for you to feel yourself. Notice how that movement of the hip joint feels on this side. Really stay present in yourself. 
This is your me time. Okay, and then come and have a rest. Feel both feet on the floor, both sit bones. Okay, and then come out again. And this time I'm going to go down. So remember down, you open and lengthen that side of yourself and back to where you started. So drop that side, that, he, that um, sit bone down as far as it goes. That hand is um, light, so you're not putting any pressure on that hand. Notice how much of your torso is moving. I can feel that my torso is moving much more than, than it was on the other side and that because I already been through that, all these movements on that side, now I've got more movements in my chest, in my ribs. So this part of me feels my torso, my spine, my ribs feels much more mobile now. Notice what your breath is doing, try not to hold your breath. Okay, and then bring the pelvis. If you need a rest, please take a rest. We're going to carry on. Bring that pelvis at sides, up, and the shoulder down. So remember now you are shortening that side of yourself. And back to where you started. Such a pleasant movement. Okay, and then come and have a rest on your chair. Now come out again. Now you're going, uh, we're going to revisit all this place where we have been, so forwards, back, down and up, do that a few more times, in your own pace, it doesn't matter what order you do as long as you go through every single one. And again you can go forwards and back a few times. And then down and up a few times. And then remember that wheel on the side of your pelvis. Then take the pelvis around in a circle. Notice how that circle feels for you. Notice how much of your torso is getting involved. Mm. 
and then go the other way around Ground both feet, both sit bones, you just feel how this, does it compares to the very beginning. And notice how does it feel now to sit on your sit bones. Does it feel more comfortable? Now remember that movement we did at the very beginning, so do it the same, so um, reach out as if you want to grab something from the top shelf and notice if you can feel a better connection from your hand all the way to your pelvis. And I hope that you can, because this is one of the purpose of this movement, is to connect the hand or the arm to your pelvis. Because your arm doesn't finish in your shoulder, your, sh your arm um, is connected to your shoulder blade and your shoulder blade is connected to your ribs, the ribs connected to the spine, the spine is connected to the pelvis. So when we do movements like that, it's important that the whole um, body takes part of it and not only the arm. the other side and do both arms notice how that feels can you feel more movement in your pelvis right so this was the lesson for today I hope you enjoy that and I'll be back with modern lessons. Leave me your feedback below, um, below this video and any questions that you might have. So thank you very much for doing this lesson with me and I'll see you at the next lessons. Um, bye bye now.